Hello. Um, today I'm going to play Sunny, and you are going to have to watch. Sunny is a game series that, well, the Flash games. Here, let's just start. I'll explain this later. I never understood why it says developed and published by Armor Games. I mean, this was made by a, a single indie developer, right? Well, have support, of course. One, two, three, four, five people. Why is the, does this say developed and published by Armor Games? Never understood this. Okay, let's start a new game. I am, of course, the Ma. Now, that is an old um, test save for testing recording. Uh, now, be ready to let your jaw hit the floor. Oh, wait, there's uh, something else. Oops. E classes. Uh, Destroyer is physical, physical fighter. Guardian is is a protector type class who is high survivability. An assassin is a fast melee fighter and a gunslinger is basically the mage. They also go down from in how much HP they have. Like destroyer is a physical fighter of course. Tanky fighter. Guardian is like a paladin assassin as well. An assassin the mage has basically no HP. I like that one because they have the highest damage output as well. Maybe the assassin is stronger, but I haven't compared them. Settings are all on. Now, let's do the jaw with floor thing. They call me Sunny. I'd like to tell you more about myself, but I can't. I don't even know my real name. It all started a year ago, on that dreadful ship. I'll never forget the ship. I died there. But somebody brought me back. Wake up, Sonny. Let's hope you're not too far gone. <sighs> Sonny? Hey, would you look at that? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Come on, let's move. We need to get off this ship. Who are you? I'm Lewis. Just a friend. Can you walk? Uh, yeah. You'll need a weapon. Grab something. What? Uh, how about this pipe? Sounds fine. Take it. This way. I may be blind, but there's no mistaking that smell. Can you take him out? Yes, I I suppose I can. Ah, I don't feel too well. It'll wear off eventually. You need to focus. Notice the gray ring in the lower middle panel around the exclamation mark. Wait until it turns blue. Once the ring is blue, click on the enemy to target him. Your abilities will appear around him. Yep, this game is voice acting. Isn't that amazing? Um, yeah, like I said, Sunny games are Flash games. We're online, I downloaded them, but they were online games originally. Now the thing is, there's three games in a series. The first two are just Flash games, and the third one is kind of a shitty remake of the, this one. Which you, I think, can get in the App Store. Uh, but yeah, I'd say stay away from it. I personally didn't like it. Maybe you have a different experience, but I didn't like it. Anyways, the first two games are really good, and this is why I'm playing them right now. Now, if you click on this enemy, we have our abilities. Here is a quick strike, which is just, we hit the enemy with our pipe. The other one is suppression which reduces damage from incoming attacks by 70% for 3 turns. Which is something we can't do. Because we have to do that on ourselves. Yes, we can click on ourselves he as well. Not too happy. He's enraged. You'll have to defend yourself. Get ready. Target yourself instead of the enemy this turn, so you can use your defensive ability. To find out more about an ability, hold your mouse over its icon for a couple of seconds. Yep, I'm not even allowed to explain mechanics. But yeah, ooh, that guy's level 99, never paid attention to that. But yeah, I can defend myself. Up here we have HP, and I think this is called Focus, which is by default always 100. 
focus can be changed, like maximum amount of focus can be changed by equipment. And I think abilities, though we get to abilities later, but base line is always 100, at least for us. Might be different for some enemies. Now, these are our buffs. I have Suppression active, which means I would only take 30% of damage for the next three turns. This guy has Enraged, which means he does 400% of damage with his next attack. Since I'm already su suppressed, or rather since I'm already suppressing the incoming damage, I'm just gonna hit him. With my pipe. Good job, Sonny. Keep going and stay alert. There'll be more of them ahead. Smack. Smack. Okay. Uh, this is the result screen, which he just is experience. You level up with experience, of course. Enemies can drop items and you drop money. And, right, experience gained, percentage. Items, money. Yeah, and if you level up. Hey Sailor, welcome to Sony. This is a combat strategy game, but you're now in roaming mode. Here you may customize your character and prepare him for the next battle. The chance to fight until you reach the boss and find a way to beat him, so you may move to the next zone. Start the next fight now by pressing the red icon on the screen after you close this window. Have fun! Yep. Okay, all of the buttons are... This is save game. I have autosave on, so after every battle it saves automatically, but here you can save manually. This sends you to the world map, which is this. We can't have... can't see any other areas right now. Uh, this respec... You can only do this five times, times per day. I don't remember this. I think in the second game this actually costs money instead of, you know, per day. Here's the settings, same as before. Here's the abilities, which I don't have abilities or attribute points yet, so I'm not going to go into that yet. And here's my inventory, which is also the stand screen. Now, um... I plan on showing all of the main story. The games have a few bonus areas down the line. Well, I say down the line, but after you finish the main story, there's one or two bonus areas. The problem is, not only are they extremely hard, they're also extremely hard to get to. So even just unlocking the bonus areas is really, really difficult. Well. The first one, not so much, but the second one, I think you need to do some crazy achievements like playing on the highest difficulty and never using the training mechanic, which we haven't seen yet. I've played the second far more than the first one, so excuse me if I don't know everything perfectly. This one is a store. We can buy items here. This is a ship supply vending machine. Insert unwanted items into the yellow slot for recycling. This one. Here you can throw away items. Here you can sell items. Which you just you just put it in here, which I'm not going to do. And here you can buy items. Which I don't have enough money to buy anything yet. So let's just fight the next battle. Uh punchy? Smashy? These things, anyway, they look horrid and decayed. Ah, and the smell is nauseating. I reckon they used to be the ship's crew, but not anymore. What's happened to them? It's complicated, and we're running out of time. I'll tell you everything when we're off this ship. Smack. And this is how it looks if I don't have the thing that makes me not take full damage. You do see my cursor, right? Would be kind of odd if you didn't. Oh, I got a level up. Now, upgrade points available. Click here to learn how to use them. Uh, you can learn new skills with your ability points. Hold your mouse over an ability for more information. You can use your attribute points to increase one of your four attributes. Choose carefully. Important! Put the abilities that you want to use in your bar or you won't be able to use them in combat. Some abilities can be placed 
on the bomb more than once. Yep, because abilities actually have cooldown. So you can have them on the bar multiple times, so you can use them more often. But in exchange, you have less versatility. Now, I'm going to put the point just into magic, because that's my ma 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 major um, attack attribute. Now, what do we have? Uh, smash, attack the enemy with 106 of your total strength, and 5 points of extra damage. In focus, 6 cooldown. Wound. Attack and wound the enemy. The enemy bleeds for strength. Oh, right, I remember. The thing is, in the second game, every class has their own skill tree. But in this game, all classes share the same skill tree. I'm actually not sure if I think I'm actually not sure if oh right the only thing the class changes is your starting attributes and what type of equipment you can equip if I'm not wrong I might be wrong I might be completely wrong but if I remember this right that's all it affects now magic bolt deals 120 of your magic and an additional 10 magic damage to an enemy and makes him weaker to all attacks uh, electro bolt Deals lightning damage based on your, both your strength and magic, dispels one buff from the enemy. Intervention shields a friendly unit from 60 damage and heals them for 20% of your strength and magic each turn for 9 turns. Blame burst, shatter bolt, void. Subversion the target unit receives a buff which switches damage with healing and healing with damage. And re energize restores 40 focus to a friendly unit. This is basically going to be my skill tree. Because I'm a mage. About leveling up, you were able to upgrade your character just now because you have leveled up. Deciding which attributes and abilities you want is very important, as they can make a big difference later on in the game. You must also remember to equip your new abilities from your ability pool in your combat action bar, or you won't be able to use them. Some abilities can even be equipped more than once. I think we went through all of our all of them already. Okay. I can buy a shirt which gives Plus one vitality. Footwear, which gives plus one speed and plus one strength. This one just gives plus one speed. A crowbar, which I don't have enough money for, which gives plus four strength. This is more than just a weapon. It's a symbol of a hero. And plus six strength uh, fire axe. Use in case of an emergency, which I also don't have enough money for. So, I'm going to buy the shirt and put it on. Next battle! You're outnumbered. Don't worry though, you have the strongest weapon. This pipe? No, I'm talking about your brain. Think. Attack the weakest one first. And defend yourself when you can. I really like the sense of humor this game has. Now this is level 2, this is level 1, so we punch level 1. Well, we shoot to level 1 with magic. And now he has a debuff, which is Magical Rift. This unit receives 17 extra damage from all sources and has weaker magical defenses. Defense, defenses, defense. Smack. Now, magic bolt. Haha, ha, miss. Yeah, miss can happen. Uh, yeah, and costs 10 focus and has one cooldown. And I got the engineering gloves, which give plus one strength. Last time you fought, dropped some items. Items are good for two things. You either equip it onto your character, or you can sell it at a shop. Indicated by blue icon on the map. Glove is here. Now I have glove. Oh, and as you can see, you can have either a two-handed weapon or two one-handed weapons. Um, next battle. That green one in front of us is toxic. Watch out for its poison. But you're blind, how do you even know? Don't get all technical on me, Sonny. Just be glad I told you. Yep, luckily the toxic one is level 1, so we can just magic bolt. Actually, he has more HP. Quick strike! 
When I said quick strike, I meant quick strike and then die. Quick strike. There we go. Magic ball from that guy. And then quick strike on him. And battle's over. Don't worry. It doesn't stay this easy for very long. No dialogue, okay. Magic balls. Poison. This unit suffers acid damage every turn equal to 33% of the caster's strength. Having dot damage be directly affected by your attributes is interesting. And yeah, that guy just doesn't take part in battle, obviously. He isn't even being attacked, even though he's like 800 HP. And he's level 99. Leveled up. Um, more magic. Electro Ball. Steals lightning damage based on both his strength and magic. Need to be level 5 for this. Uh, Let's just take the Electro Bolt. I can respec after all. Hey, I can see the speedboat hangar. It's up ahead. Okay, that means this is the last battle, I guess. Thirty. Yeah, I should probably do Magic Bolt first because it also softens the enemy up for more damage. I think I can hear helicopters, Sonny. It must be the rescue team. Yeah, because in these situations, the people coming to meet you are obviously rescue teams. I mean, come on, we just had a Half Life reference. I can't honestly believe we're getting out of this without some dudes shooting at us. Okay, uh, I have 55. That means I'm going to take... Um... The Fire Axe. Like... Oh, these are all primary arms. Okay, you need sub-weapons for you. And I'm going to get myself better shoes. Yep. Oh, they're nice boots too, actually. Are they? Yep, they're boots. Oh, yeah, navy boots. No, I didn't even pay attention to that. And... Did I level... No, I already distributed this. Okay, next battle. Finally, you're here. I thought we'd die on this forsaken ship. Take them out, boys. We don't need any witnesses. What? <laughs> Lewis! This is not a good day to be shooting my friends. Hey, look yeah. at that. That one just talked. So what? That thing is no different from the rest of them. Just do your job, soldier. Funny, he had like 800 HP all the time, but now that we meet those guys, he suddenly had 1 HP. And he had, he had 1. At least I thought he had 1. Um, who do I take out first? CPI Medic, Assault, and Captain. I'll take out the medic first, so that he doesn't fucking heal the others. Sorry, why do I get to act again? Shocked, this unit is stunned. Yeah. Skip the turn. Magic Bolt! And with that, you don't have a medic anymore. Me he. I'm going to smack the assault now. And I'm going to magic bolt the assault. Yeah, at this point, there's not much strategy in the game yet. So I'm just hoping I don't get shocked all the time. And then I shoot them with magic bolts. Music is pretty nice as well, isn't it? Uh, die! I won. And with that, we're out of the tutorial. 3 magic, 11 strength, 
by physical piercing. Written on the hilt, property of Zombie Pest Control, Inc. The ZPC. Proceed. Uh, Sonny, take this. Lewis, I, I don't know what to do or where to go. I don't remember anything. Just take it, please. What is it? It's a tape. Maybe it can help you. Lewis, I don't need this. I, I need to remember. <sighs> I need to... <sighs> and that is the end of the tutorial and where the game properly starts. Now, this is also where I'm going to end this part. Till next time.